As people progress through Diablo 4, they're going to jump from World Tier 2 to World Tier 3. Most people will get there and feel weak. They'll rationalize in their head it's because their level is low, but the reason for this is more likely that you haven't been gearing properly. I've been noticing a lot recently people seem to be ignoring secondary stats in Diablo 4. Secondary stats are so important in your ability to get stronger. For example, my rogue is really well built for the build I'm running, and I can clear nightmare dungeons where enemies are up to 10 levels higher than me. And that's not because I'm some god of the game, it's just because my character is built well and I've taken the time to understand my build. Every build has its own identity and focuses on different sources of damage. And while you can just follow guides blindly, it's important to realize that your gear heavily dictates your ability to find success on certain builds. I'll give you an example with my build. I'm playing Penetrating Shot Rogue right now, and my build focuses a lot on putting out vulnerable debuffs and then firing my core skill to kill enemies. Almost every time I'm firing my weapon, I'm using imbuements. So just think about that for a second, right? What's going to benefit me the most? Well, it's pretty simple. Any source of vulnerable damage, any buffs to my imbuement skills like CDR and damage percent, and then crit strike chance and damage are base level great stats for almost every class and every spec in the game. Different classes and specs are going to have different stat priorities. For example, off the top of my head, the Ice Shard Sork build needs a lot of CDR in resource regeneration, Whirlwind Barbs need a lot of crit, damage to close enemies, CDR, resource generation, and etc. If you don't know what stats you need, either consider following a build guide or do what theory crafters do and break down what types of damage you're dealing and think critically about what stats would best amplify your damage. Every spec has some slight changes in what they need or what can be good for them, but understanding these stats is so important. Now, let me show you how you can analyze gear once you understand what your build needs. So I'm going to show you the bow that I'm running, and then I'm going to show you a bow that I got that has a higher DPS value. So let me equip this, right? You can see here Cut Tormentor has 39 damage per second increase. Most players who don't know what secondary stats are are like, oh, sick, I got a new bow. Let me put it on. Well, wait. So I'm going to show you my crossbow first really quick. Actually, let's, let's go through the bow first. So this bow has damage to distant enemies, critical strike damage, critical strike damage with imbued skills, all stats, and then ultimate skill damage. So this bow isn't terrible by any means, but it's definitely not an upgrade. So it has damage to distant enemies, which my build does use. Crit strike damage is always great. Crit strike damage with imbued skills is not bad either, but it has all stats and ultimate skill damage. And those are not two stats that I use. But my crossbow, on the other hand, has way better stuff going on for it. So first and foremost, I have vulnerable damage as the guaranteed role because it is a crossbow and my build uses vulnerable damage a ton. Then I also have crit strike damage on this crossbow, extra roll of vulnerable damage, which is huge. I'm literally getting 117% extra vulnerable damage. And with my build right now, because I'm running the exploit rune, I'm always making enemies vulnerable. Anyway, then I also have Dexterity, which is a great mainline stat. Dexterity is actually a lot more valuable than people realize. Uh, but anyway, I also have basic skill damage. Now, for my build, ideally, that would be something different. And I don't have a best-in-slot crossbow yet. But this crossbow is far and beyond way better than that other bow. And this example is pretty close. Like, you can see here, it has three things that are useful for me. So if I equip this, my damage wouldn't be night and day horrible. But it's definitely not an upgrade. And I've seen this a lot, just like talking to my friends, watching new players, seeing people experience the game. A lot of people need to understand what secondary stats actually benefit them before they blindly see a green number and equip the bow. So I do also want to mention, just so you understand, defensives are also important to evaluate this way. I just use an example of DPS stats because they're more widespread and easier to understand. But you need to understand this for defensives as well. In one example here, if you're a melee class, you're going to value damage reduction from close enemies, but for me with my build, I'd actually value damage reduction from distant enemies way more. So this is a pretty simple video. And if you've played Diablo actively on other titles, this isn't new to you. This is more meant for anyone who doesn't understand how to evaluate the stats on their gear. If this video helped you out, consider subscribing for more tips and tricks and build guides. But that's going to do it for me. My name has been Valued. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.